Hey, Michelle, it's so great uh, for you joining us today. How about you take a few minutes and tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank you. Um, so, well, my name is Michelle. I am 27 years old and I have a degree in child and youth care. Um, I'm currently the youth director at Pine Witch Chapel. Um, I don't know. I, I love youth ministry. I love all things youth and counseling related. Um, I don't work full time in that field because I have a brain injury. So um, I end up filling my time with other hobbies and things like photography and art. So like painting, digital art, whatever I can do really. And I am working on publishing a poetry book. So those things keep me busy. Um, but yeah, that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> cool, cool. I, I just love this creative aspect about your life. There's lots of creativity happening there. Thank you. Yeah. yeah so stuff. yeah 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 so this whole covid thing uh what are you looking forward to when covid is over hugging people <laughs> <laughs> yes yes i really miss hugging people i miss hugging friends i miss seeing friends um i used to have a lot of spontaneous hangouts and like my life really you know, centers around friendships and relationships with other people. Um, so I definitely miss the aspect of being able to relate to others by physically spending time with them and hanging out with them. Um, I'm grateful for the technology to reach out now, but like I, I do miss just being with people and that sense of community. Um, also youth. <laughs> I cannot wait for in-person youth to feel a lot safer and like Obviously, we can meet now with precautions in the way, but not in the way, but in place. But it does feel like it's in the way because, you know, there's no hugging, there's no side hugs, there's, yeah. it feels a little different. Um, so I can't wait until we're at some sort of new normal where we can like safely meet and hang out and have fun again um, once the restrictions are, are lifted. So, yeah. Yes, yes. I, I would agree 100% with you. Totally, totally. Mm -hmm. So during COVID, some of uh, some people and maybe you've struggled through some of this stuff too of actually motivating yourself what actually has been getting you up in the morning what's keeping you going through this whole pandemic we're in coffee <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your honesty <laughs> um actually having a routine has mm, probably yeah. been the best thing i could have done because like falling in this like state of having nothing to do every day was pretty detrimental like you can really lose your sense of purpose in that so like with having a routine it was something to get up for something to look forward to so getting up in the morning having tea doing my devotionals and then getting into like some type of art or facetiming with friends and connecting with other people because again I very much am centered around getting to know each other and getting to know people so reaching out to people in a way that was new for so many so like using zoom facetime skype things like that um to connect with friends and really get to see how people were doing because like during covid and the lockdown people were so vulnerable and people were actually facing uh, mental health issues like never before and and they were actually willing to open up and talk about it so I was able to use that time to get up and get to be there for friends and talk to them and really connect with people um, definitely like knowing that I was going to wake up and FaceTime somebody new and see how they were doing. Like I, it, I did that every day <laughs> and it, it really got me through. So, yeah. Cool. Cool. So if you could choose to do anything for a day right now, what would that be? What would be the first thing that you would do now? Um, if it's unrealistic, I would be hiking in Banff because <laughs> I just miss it out there. <laughs> And the fresh air and just being out in nature and not being in the same four walls all the time. Like, I would love to do that. But, like, if this is one of those questions where I can get away with anything, I would be super healthy for a day, no brain injury, and just at youth running around playing every game po I possibly can with the kids. Because, <laughs> um, wow. wow. like, cool. at, at the wow. moment, I, with my brain injury, I'm a little bit limited. So, like, I... I can't always keep up the way they can, but if I could for just for a day, just be with the kids and just be racing and running around the church and just uh, having conversations without, you know, fears of like headaches and stuff like that, I would be doing that because they're so cool. They're so much fun. So 
yeah, that's what I would be doing. I would be hanging out with those kids. <laughs> you know, it's, it's so easy just listening to you to realize how passionate you are about people, whether it's in relationships or whether it's kids or whatever. You're very mm-hmm. passionate about people. So how does your yeah. faith mix together in all of the stuff that we've been talking about? Um, I think it's because like my love for people comes from just w- the drive to wanting to see them being able to bounce back from adversity. Like that's kind of the thing I'm most passionate about. And faith ties right into that because the reason we can bounce back is because we have a solid foundation in God or like we can have a solid foundation in like in faith and believing in God and believing that um he is gonna he's he has us he's you know he has us in his hands and he's not letting go and he sees the bigger picture and, and I feel like once people realize that they are so loved it just sparks this resilience in them and, and that's what I try to do my prayer when I talk to people is always like not for it to be just about us and the situations we're talking about but that I can reflect God's love and his light and just, you know, just kind of be a lighthouse for his love and his light and let people realize that like, you know, you are just loved and you're going to make it through because there's so much more than what's in front of you now. And I feel like without the faith aspect, it's just, I'm kind of just hoping and grasping at straws that, you know, people are going to make it. But with, you know, faith, I, I can believe, you know, without needing logic, without needing tangible or visible proof, I can believe that people are going to make it through whatever they're going through and uh, believe in that for them until they can believe that for themselves. So I guess that's where faith really fuels my ability to relate and connect to others and just the way I can love other people, I guess. So both students and friends alike and family, of course. So yeah. Well, that's, That's awesome. And, you know, that intersection of faith and friends and family is so, so important. We see that so visually uh, given to us through Jesus as he lived his life with his disciples and even his own family, his brothers and sisters. So so that's so cool that uh, that God has designed and made you that way. So uh, it's uh, great to take this opportunity to get you get to know you a little bit better and uh, to learn a little bit more about what's been happening in your life through uh, the pandemic and, and all of the restrictions that we're in. So uh, is there anything else that you would like to say? Any last thoughts that you would like to sort of throw out there uh, to share with anybody? Um, honestly, if it's the people who are watching this and are having a hard time with COVID or isolation, I just want to say, keep going and keep reaching out. Uh, don't, you know, just because we have to physically distance, don't isolate yourself, like still reach out to people. There's ways to connect with people. So find somebody, whether that's someone here at Pinewoods, whether it's you or myself, like, you know, just reach out, reach out to a friend, someone you trust and don't go through it alone. Cause like, I don't, I really don't believe God was, God made us to go through things alone. I really believe he made us to walk in fellowship with one another and be there for each other. So If anyone's going through it, don't go through it alone because you really don't have to. So that's my my COVID takeaway. (laughs) Amen. Just a big amen from my end on that, too. That's very well said, Michelle. I appreciate Mm -hmm. that so much. So Mm -hmm. thank you so much for sharing with us today. It's been great to just hang out and chat Mm -hmm. a little and uh, have a good day. And uh, we'll talk again. All right. Take care.